you know we could do better. So coming out in the second half, we want to just uh, do better at the small stuff, run harder, rebound better, play harder, get the loose balls, and just play harder in general. That's really what the message was at halftime. What do you think, Devin? What I'm curious, was Eric like, was he in a rage, or was he kind of calm, or what was he like? We ain't going to speak on it, but <laughs> he, he gave us some motivational words. <laughs> and uh, you see we came out with some with a with an edge and we got the job done and we got the other guys that don't get to play a lot. We got a man and they able to feel, have a feel for the game. But um as you seen, like he said, we didn't have that, that push that we needed in the first half, so we had to come out with a with a with a momentum pusher. Devo, do you think that was your best game of the year? And Jalen, what what what'd you think of Devo's game? Um to me, I, I know what D. Will can do. I've seen him the past, what, three, four years playing basketball, and we all know what D. Will can do. We know he's the best defender on the court. We know he can score the ball on offense, break down his guy, and really we've just been waiting for it to come out. We know D. Will can do every game. And when D. Will plays and D. Will does his thing, we know what D. Will going to do. Yeah, um, I think I think it's, it's it, it has to be fun for me, and, I, and I'm making it more fun just knowing that I have to – I have to have a smile on my face at all times and just be able to just play the game freely. And I talked to my grandma and my mom the other day, and they told me that I haven't been smiling and having fun. So I just feel like if I just continue to have fun with the game and just let the game come to me, I will continue to play as well as I did. How much motivation was it to have guys across for you that you played against in high school, guys like Day Day, Cam Hunter? Uh, Colin Cooper, talk a little bit about the extra motivation and maybe how that lifted you guys. Um, I actually played against Darius in in high school. That was my last time playing against him. Man, that's when I went to Jacksonville Lighthouse. I think I was like 10th grade. It wasn't good. He went to Mills. We, they blew us out. It was crazy. But no, nah, um, it's fun playing against those guys. Just knowing that we know each other and we're from the same state. Some of us even from the same um, parts of um, parts in Arkansas. So it's fun just playing against those guys. Yeah, for sure. It's fun playing against those guys because just growing up in Arkansas, I want to see everybody succeed and knowing that they're playing at a college level, D1 college level, it's, it's just great to see everybody succeed. Be more of an emphasis to get out and, and run, get out and transition. What did you guys think of your, your transition offense? I think it was a season high and fast break points tonight. Um, really, that's just been an emphasis for us the whole year, knowing that we can push the break. And we got a lot of fast guards, got a lot of guys that can run the lanes. Devo is one of the best in, in fast break one-on-one -on -one or fast break whatever. So we, we really just made it an emphasis to push the ball this game and get down the court. Yeah, for sure. Just knowing that, like he said, we're able to get out and get fast break points, and that's what we really want, uh, just just to get opportunities to just make um, fast break layups and things like that. And we have guys that can outlet the ball and also bigs four and fives that can dribble the ball up the court. So just knowing that we have no, those type of players, it helps us out a lot. First half, the uh, free throw shooting, is it just contagious where nobody could hit one? Or? I think I think we shot so good in, in, um, in pregame, we probably ran out of bullets at the free throw line. <laughs> but, but no, and, and, um, like you can ask Coach Musk when he comes, like we, we shot wonderful free throws like in pregame and then the first half was just terrible, but it's fine. We're just going to continue to work. And Jay Will said in the middle of the game, he said, oh, yeah, we're doing well, our free throw game multiple <laughs> times tomorrow. So I know we're going to work on free throws tomorrow for sure, and Coach Mudson ain't going to be happy, but it's fine. It's something that we need to work on, just like our three-ball shooting. Also, what, what opened things up for Stanley in the first half and, and for Tony in the second half? Um, really, in the first half, I feel like uh, staying running the lane and just shooting that shot, shooting that he's great in the mid range, great in the post. And then for Dees in the second half, um, him running the floor, getting those fast break looks, and then just getting in that low block where he's getting those offensive rebounds, putting them back. That's just, I feel like that really just opened the floor for him. There, there was a, yeah, there was one wild loose ball scramble, Diva. I think you touched the ball three, four times, and then Jalen, you blocked the shot. Can you all talk about that sequence there? <laughs> hey, I told them once I came to the bench towards the end of the game, I was like, bro, I need a front flip. <laughs> I need a front flip trying to get the ball to steal it again. I was so mad. But no, nah, I usually I usually get those. I don't know what was going on. But now nah, um, I'm glad Jay Will had my back because I was so mad. <laughs> you guys had 16 steals tonight. You forced 25 turnovers. Do you just talk about the importance of the defensive effort and how that was able to fuel what you were doing in transition? 
Yeah, um, that was um, part of our um, scheme, um, having 18 plus turnovers, and we actually did that. So um, I think that was something that we had our mind on, and uh, we did it. So I think that's something that Coach Musk will be happy about for sure. Yeah, and I think our guards did a really good job of putting pressure on their guards. And one of our things, one of our focuses for the big was putting pressure on the guy up top in the middle so we couldn't, wouldn't allow that inside or that high post catch. And I feel like that's where we did really good. Got a couple steals on that. And our guards, again, with the pressure, we got a lot of steals off that too. You know, you got Arkansas went years and years without ever playing in-state teams, and now you're playing in-state teams back-to-back -back games. Um, I, just what, 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 what do you guys think about that? Um, I like it. I like playing against guys that I grew up playing against, played against them in high school. Uh, like, like I said, I like seeing guys succeed, and I like just playing against them. It's, it's a whole different thing. We're out there having fun with each other, talking smack, like friendly smack. So it's just fun playing against those guys. Yeah, like he said, um, just it's, it's wonderful just playing against guys that we know, you know. And um, not every, not every main school and other states are playing other schools and in their states. So I think it's something that um, will start to trend as as years go on in other states as well. Jalen, you had 13 boards in that career high. I don't know if you realize that. Uh, but just what, what were you doing? I guess they have to miss shots. Obviously, if you get rebounds, you guys have to miss some too. But just what do you think about your rebound tonight? Um, I don't know. I guess I was just getting lucky. All the balls are coming towards me, and I was just grabbing them. And then, really, it just, I don't know. I just had a good night, good first half. He said his goals. <laughs> they only made two of 11 from three in the second half. Was that something, was that a change in your defense or more just shots not falling for them? Hand in the eyeball. That's what we have to do. And um, he told us that in the locker room at halftime, and we made sure we did it because they shot really, I think they shot like 70% from the, from the um, three-point line in the first half, and that was something that we didn't really know that they could do because they only make five a game. And so it was kind of shocking that they actually was making shots with our hands in their face. So we had to make sure we ran them off the three-point line in the second half.